Hey guys, this is going to be a really, really, really fast video, and I'm not a big, I'm not a big Blender fan. Everybody knows this, and it's not saying that Blender isn't good. Blender is a wonderful, top-notch 3D application. It's just not for me. But a lot of people saying, "Hey, they're coming out with new build, you know, 2.5, and it's it's." Supposed to be a lot better as far as the uh, UI goes and y'all this yada 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 and a lot of people ask me but they can't find this build because I don't think it's officially released yet so I'm going to give you the website where you can go get the 2.5 blender build and, and play around with it just realize it's not complete okay the website is called graphicall.org slash builds or just www.graphicall.org It'll bring you up to this little page here, and down here you see your optimized builds and the latest builds. Okay, so as far as the optimized builds go, um, there's no 2.5 for OS 10. But under the latest builds, if you go over here, select Mac OS 10. If you have PC or Windows or Linux, you choose that. Select all types, and I'm going to say view. And now we get right here Blender 2.5. OS 10.6 right here okay so there you go check it out 500 people's downloaded it so I'm hoping this is gonna help a lot as you notice um, it has the amount of downloads that's been downloaded and OS 10 has quite a lot of downloads now this 2.5 for Windows has got like 1400 I think but there's a lot of Mac users downloading Blender, and I, I'm, I'm happy to see that. So um, you all go through and check out all these Blender builds. OpenGL, Viewport Optimization, yada, yada, yada. Um, Blender 2.5, Win64. But basically, this is for my OS X users. So just select PowerPC or Intel, whichever you're using. Select View, and you'll see 10.6, and that's how you get the new build of Blender. Just keep in mind, it's not complete. But, but it's nice. Still not enough to make me switch from my Moto and Houdini, but it's really nice and it's come a long way. And uh, a lot of new users who can find themselves getting used to it may end up loving it. A lot of people do. So there you go, www.graphicall.org for the new Blender 2.5 build. Or I guess daily builds, or I don't know if they're daily, but you know, here was one build in September the 2nd, another build the 19th. So, you know. They're still making Blender 2.5 for 10.4 Tiger. So if you're running 10.4 Tiger, there you go. Here's a Blender 2.5 build for you. Um, if you're running 10.5.8, here's a Blender 2.5 build for you. So they're really, really cross-platform. Whatever you're running, they probably have a build for you to test. So check it out. Um, thanks for watching. Now, in case you're wondering what the new Blender looks like, you can see it's been completely rewritten from scratch. And you see how fast it started? Now, Blender's really, really come a long way. Like I said, it's still not for me, but it has come a really, really long way. And now you can see that there's a lot of nice um, application uh, UI improvements. If I fire up the old Blender, you can see here what we're looking at. Okay, but the new Blender, it's just a lot more sleek, a lot more, a lot sexier, I think. Um, I mean, of course, it's all personal preference, but as you can see side by side, this automatically opens up to a 3D view, which might be a little more f familiar to people just getting into 3D and help them realize this is a 3D app. Um, the colors are much better. The, un the, the menus are unified better. You can see over here we have our tree, and you can click this little button here, and it brings out a little menu. And we have our transform controls all that good stuff a few things have changed from under the view menu um, I like this little toolbar here we can translate rotate you can see you just click on rotate and then move your mouse and it rotates it's just a different philosophy of working Tra click on translate and you move your mouse and it translate click on scale move your mouse and it scales so you can see that they've come a long long way again I stress It'll never replace Moto for me. Uh, you know, it'll never replace Houdini for me. But it's free, and this gives people an opportunity to get into 3D, work with fluids and cloth and, and model 
And um, Blender has a little bit of everything. It's like a jack of all trades, but master of none. It's really good. You can get some really great results out of it. But sometimes it's a little cumbersome, the UI and stuff. So like I say, I like my Moto and Houdini. But some people swear by Blender. Something else people might like about the new Blender are these little menus down here at the bottom. Okay, let me show you. Which is really nice. They're still here. Everything is still the same. It's just they've done a lot of work down here. You can click on all these and you come up with different things. And now you finally got a modifier tab here. And you can add your modifiers. Now there's quite a bit of modifiers. Deform. they got the physics from smoke and particle systems. Fluid systems. Um, the bevel. Like if I bevel, you can see that my... Um, edges are beveled now just this way so really it just depends on what you're used to a lot of new users are gonna fall in love with the new blender a lot of the older users I think are gonna really like it too once they get used to it so um, check out blender 2.5 and see what you think you might end up liking it thanks for watching